My photography reflects myself. My lens is my personality. My colors are my emotions. My space is my freedom. I love paintings, especially modern art. Van Gogh, Miro and Chagall are my favorite painters. I started painting in Spain, in a small coastal town Altea. I discovered street photography after I gave birth to my son. In fact, my street photography is the same age as he is, four years old. His birth was the most breakthrough moment and happiest event in my life. It led to my biggest personal transformation, brought a lot of love, light and energy into my life that I transformed into creativity. When my son was a baby, I spent much time walking down the streets, observing. He was peacefully sleeping, first in a baby carrier, later in the pram. In my first street shots, he's always with me. But actually, he's in all my shots, as he's always on my mind and in my heart. I always have my camera with me. Some of my shots are made on the go. It happened with my most now famous photograph, Sleeping Beauty. I was on the last train to Denmark for a business trip. I was very far away from shooting anything. That was a sad night for me. I was heartbroken. My head and heart were full of dark feelings and thoughts. And it was just a little miracle. I've noticed the sleeping girl and I had my camera with me. Later on I was thinking about how is it possible that my most famous photograph was taken when I was the saddest version of myself for years. And in fact, we are more creative when we are sad. And I think there is much beauty in this truth. I take my camera and go explore the city, the streets, the day. I don't have any intentions. I let myself be led by my feelings, intuition, that anticipation that I feel in the air. You never know where it will lead you. It's scary. It's exciting. It's being free. I'm drawn to colors, light, emotions I encounter. I see a lot of sense in beauty and you can find it everywhere, even on the male toilet in the old library. I'm touched and moved by the beauty that rounds us every day, every second, everywhere. It takes my breath away and I want to share it, so I take a shot. Though my family is not religious, I remember myself as a child being spiritual, finding peace and beauty there. One of my favorite photographs I took was in Copenhagen. I remember that moment 
I entered the church, and a ray of light came through the stained glass window, reflecting a white cross on the dark wall. It felt like a magic. I like the meaning that photo carries for me. You may not feel it in a particular moment, like the lady who doesn't see the cross on the wall, but it's always there, the hope, the beauty, the power. I like space. There is usually a lot of space in my photographs. For me, space stands for freedom, for independence, for calmness, for being yourself deeply connected to yourself. I see beauty in those moments when people are by themselves, pensive, calm, daydreaming. I like bold, rich colors and strong contrasts. I like the depth and intensity. I guess it's the way I feel. My photography reflects myself. My lens is my personality. My colors are my emotions. My space is my freedom. I never ask for permission when I make a photograph. When I approach people I am usually relaxed and open. I come as close as it feels comfortable for them and for me. Often they see me but they allow me to stay in this space. I think about the photograph of two girls with a lip gloss. I came very close to them. I could feel they feel me, but it was okay for them. I guess I could be one of them, and it felt just natural. Why do I do street photography? It's a joy, it's a play, it's an adventure. I love living creatively with an open heart. I love to feel life like you do it in a street photography. Each moment is ephemeral and unique. There is no repetition. There is no second chance. I like to feel connected to these moments, to be part of them, and by sharing them to connect with others.